Well, uh, you all have read the title down there, and you know what we're watching. I guess we're indulging in the hype train now. Just just chugging right along. I mean... Yeah, Nate, Nate wanted to get on the hype train because he's excited for this. Well, I'm excited. Okay, here's the thing. I have... Okay, in my mind, I know the po- the, uh, the possible outcomes. Number one, Floyd Money Mayweather just coasts to a decision. Or number mm-hmm. two, that's the most likely option. Hmm. I'd okay. say I'd say if the fight plays out in my head, ninety nine times out of or like I'd say no, not ninety nine. I'd say like eighty, like eighty three percent, eighty three percent of the time, that's what I see in my head. The other times I see Conor McGregor break you know, a man. Well, with one, you know, you know, doing his typical thing and just knocking knocking Floyd out in like the first four rounds, like he predicted that. By the way, this is after uh, two of the press conferences. Actually, one of the press conferences is going on right now, the New York press conference, uh, and I can't wait to see the highlights of it later on uh, and hear what McGregor and Mayweather say to each other. Are they like, just getting together to talk smack? Is yeah, that what's that's happening? it. They they get they give them a stage. They give both of them microphones. And here's the one here's the one thing about it: Floyd Money Mayweather brings out a backpack full of money. To taunt Conor McGregor, this Con- is, that's stupid. No, no. And here's the thing: Conor McGregor goes, "Did you steal that from your son? <laughs> Did you steal that from your son? Is that the money that is that all the money that he gives to his parents to give him good grades?" Oh, <laughs> no. Conor is wow. like a primo mm. shit talker, dude. Like, like top uh, tier, mm. top level, like, I, top I, level shit talker. I feel like they play that up too. They cause, do because I feel like this is kind of like in wrestling how they have a designated heel. Oh it's yeah, like the bad guy to get people riled up. I honestly think that they like they're like, hey, like get people fired up. Just be a total butt. That's that's what they that, that is what they're like. Doing. I, I guarantee you, behind yeah. closed doors, Mayweather and McGregor are actually as like as, I don't believe that as like the producers are literally no, well, just like rubbing like hundred dollar bills all over themselves. No, 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 no. You've got like the one really sweaty producer who I picture as um, zero much that zero mustel. No. Um, yeah, Nathan Lane. It was Nathan Lane. <laughs> I was like, is it Nathan Lane? Yeah, it's Nathan Lane. Well, I was going to say, Zero Mustel played Nathan ba- played Bialystok in the original. Yeah. But Nathan Lane. And, Nathan he, Lane and you've just got, better. like, he's just got a $100 bill, and he's just like, oh. Yeah, like yeah. wiping the sweat off. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, you know. Well. Just just losing his mind. Well, I, I guarantee you, like, they've had private conversations where they've just been like, yeah, we're just gonna talk shit to each other, and during fight night, we're gonna be we're gonna be real with each other and get in there and actually fight. But up until then, man, let's just make let's just make this a good show. And it's like, so we're talking shit, right? Oh yeah, we're talking yeah. shit. All hey, right. bring your A game, Connor, because Mayweather knows Connor can talk up a good fight because he pretty much okay. Here's the thing: when you talk shit and you're not able to back it up, that's one thing. When you when you talk shit, in fact, you do often get hit. <sighs> yes. But Connor not only gets hit, he hits back uh, yeah, even that's, harder, and he knocks that's people the, out. That's the thing. Like every like every person he's gone up against, well, except, save for a few, there's two people in the entire UFC uh, in his fight career he hasn't knocked out. He's had ten. He's had more than I think. I think he's had ten fights in the UFC, and he's knocked out everyone else, including the featherweight champion Jose Aldo, who was champion for more than ten years, knocked him out. In 13 seconds, one punch, a, wow. a left to the chin. Hot done. damn! I mean, and no, and you would think, oh, maybe it was an early stoppage. No, Jose Aldo hit the floor like he just got shot in the head. I mean, honestly, he like he like got hit and fell forward like he just got shot in the head. So it like, it literally looks like one of those punch out uh, takedowns. Yeah, pretty much. Oh man. Well, anyway, to. Uh, Fully get into the hype train. There was a uh, there was a uh, channel on here on YouTube called Mike Fight Promo. Uh, check out the check out his channel. Uh, there's a link to the uh, original video in the description. Uh, he made a Mayweather versus McGregor 180 million dollar dance trailer. Now that's uh, <clears throat> that's a lot of cash. That is a lot of cash. Which here's the thing. That's, that's a lot of fiat currency Wait, right there. So the winner of this fight gets 180 million dollars. No, no. Here's the thing you want to you want to know the scary part of about, about this about how big the, this fight could potentially be. This ought to be good. When Manny Pacquiao and Floyd Mayweather fought, mm-hmm. that was the biggest fight in history, the mm-hmm. biggest, the most bought pay per view out there. Floyd Mayweather made just south of three hundred million dollars. 
Manny Pacquiao what? cleared over 150. Now, wow. Connor is talking that even if he takes the small cut, mm -hmm. he'll get $180 million out of this because so, of the buy rate. So he could absolutely just get chilled and, make, and still and make he, over yeah. $100 million. Yes. And make bank. Like, just, uh, I was going to say, <clears throat> if you, I mean, honestly, I would get in the ring, but nobody wants to see me in the ring. I mean, I, well, there are people, I know a lot of you out there saying, yeah, Nate, you get in the ring. And I'm like, no, I'll get my ass chewed out. I'll get my just ass chewed up and just spit out like I didn't exist. But this. Okay, I have something that is very minutely tangentially related that I found out that makes me very happy. What's that? Uh, Uwe Boll is retired from filmmaking now. Woo! Yes. Tangentially related because he wanted he, to fight people. <laughs> yeah, he wanted to box everybody. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> he, it's like it's like you're talking shit about my films. I will knock you out. I will yeah. knock you cold. He he is now a retired filmmaker because the loophole that he was using to essentially make money on these terrible terrible films Has in Germany got out. got closed. Yes. So thank you. Yeah. Um, German legislation finally yeah. doing something great. I I read that the other like I read that yesterday and I was like, man, this is great. It's a great day for film. It's a. It was a fine day, like, in 2016 for film. I was going to say, did, when you read that, did you just walk out, like, the sunshine in your face, and you in your mind you just heard, it's a beautiful morning. I mean, I won't go that far, because <laughs> work... Oh, oh work, work oh, is killing for you. Oh, oh, oh. But... <laughs> Those labs are just falling apart around me. It's awful. Well, um, that's how it goes. That, that's uh, Everything deteriorates. That's, that's all I'm... Uh. Well... We That's have the thing. we have the video queued up yeah, here. Yeah, so let let's let's let's, let's watch a watch. trailer for two dudes punching each other. Okay. What if you were in the ring with Floyd Mayweather? What do you think would happen? If I get the itch to come back, it really won't be for the money, but I'll have to get paid. You know, that's why the nickname is Floyd Money Mayweather. If you're asking would I like to fight Floyd, I mean, who would not like to dance around the ring for $180 million? Yeah. Never compare Conor McGregor to me. It's a total disrespect. I, I'm an elephant. Elephant don't beef with ants. Let's take out the sports. Let's take out rules. Who wins if we just fight? Me. It's Conor McGregor, this little bitch. <laughs> I don't give a fuck about Floyd. This little bitch, Conor McGregor, keep getting famous on me. All right. Floyd's a bitch. He's petrified. As soon as I touched down in Las Vegas, he retired twice. He retired <laughs> <laughs> That's a good line. You little bitch, if you want to fight, let's make it happen. Well, fuck Floyd. Trust me. This whole boxing world don't know what they're going to see when I roll in here. Conor McGregor, I'm out of retirement now. Just for Conor McGregor. So let's make this fight happen. I don't fear no man. No. On that no rule set. Just keep barking. Fuck Floyd Mayweather. You keep barking, keep barking, keep barking. I'm going to see if you're going to bite. Conor well. McGregor has said this afternoon that his UFC career is on hold. He will now turn all of his attention to fight only one man, and that is Floyd Money Mayweather. The fans wanted to see this fight. It's the most talked about fight on the planet right now, and it will be the biggest fight ever in the history of two people punching each other. I was I was just about to drop into Amish Paradise. Don't, please. <laughs> that was when he knocked out Jose. Oh, jeez. Floyd is magic when it comes to defense. I mean, I will never doubt his defensive technology, his defensive te technique. I mean, just shoot. But Connor, with that, with that left hand, dangerous. There's no boxer in history that has accomplished what I've accomplished. Everything you taught me from day one. Oh, 49 and 0, never been knocked down, never been knocked out. When you envision the fight, do you see stopping him? My fist is bigger than his head. <laughs> I'm gonna teach him about true fighting. You're not on my level. He will never be on my level. Period. I am boxing. 
<laughs> let's get the fans wild for this and let's go and have a proper knock under specific rules to keep you alive. <laughs> that was a good line. And a very specific rule designed to keep you alive. He's a poet. What better way to kick this thing off with the biggest star in UFC, the biggest star in all of boxing? This is the biggest fight ever in combat sports history. This will be the biggest event. This is well made. Very well made. Years to come. This is the fight that the world will be watching. And I mean, and he has to just work with footage that he's found. Yeah. That's... Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Just very well done. This is impressive. Damn. It was good. Very well done, man. Have they stated what the rules actually are going to be? Pure boxing match. Pure boxing. Pure boxing match. Yes, pure boxing match. So Floyd with mm. that advantage. Floyd Money Mayweather will have the advantage when it comes to when it comes to the the rules of the fight. Because <clears throat> because it is it's just going to be Connor lacing up and and plus here's the thing. The gloves are uh, I think they're 12 ounce gloves. So UFC wears four ounce gloves, mm -hmm. um, and some boxing ma some boxing matches like they like they orchestrate to where you you have to wear like sixteen ounce gloves, mm -hmm. but they were able to negotiate down to to uh, twelve ounce gloves. So honestly, honestly, from what from everything I I've seen, that's why I say I think Floyd will win this, but <clears throat> there is always always th it's combat sports. There's always the unknown, the unknown uh, yeah, that's tangent true. that can always come out of nowhere and just smack everything out of proportion. It's just like nobody expected Buster Douglas to beat uh, to beat Mike Tyson. Nobody expected that. Nobody. Not even. Uh, I mean, I, not, I don't even think Buster Douglas did. Well, except well, except actually, I think he did. He he believed in himself and thus accomplished what many thought to be impossible. And it's just, it, it's hard to really gauge. How the fight will go because Conor McGregor, we haven't, uh, I haven't seen him do like a like a complete full boxing match. But I was gonna say his conditioning when he when he paces himself, he's really good. I mean, he he keeps up a, a breakneck pace for for like all five rounds of a fight. Well, so one of the interesting things, you know, talking about the the weight of the gloves. Yeah. So. Boxing gloves are not there to protect the other guy. No, they're not. <laughs> they're there to protect your hands. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah, which that's that's another. So well, this, I mean, the fact that they've that he's been doing this in four ounce gloves, you know, very little hand protection, minimalist at best. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, and. You would think, you know, oh, eight extra ounces, that's that's not that much. I mean, that there is a distinct change in aerodynamics. There is. <clears throat> and I mean, I, you know, I dare say that uh, McGregor can adapt. Yeah, absolutely, I think so. <laughs> I've always thought that it's funny. It's like, oh, yeah, uh, in some ways, boxing is actually safer without the gloves. Yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah, yeah, it is actually. I mean, that's which I mean, I find absolutely fascinating. Well, it actually shows that more fighters in boxing, there have been more people in boxing who have suffered concussions than people in MMA, which is strange to me. Yeah, it's strange when you think about it because you think about what's legal in MMA: elbows, knees, kicks. I mean, some stuff I've seen has just been like. Wow, I mean, just so like some of the knockouts I've seen in the UFC from kicks and knees. Oh yeah, have just been nuts. But you think about how often, bo like, 
how often boxers like do full sparring with headgear because you know how you get concussions, right? Concussions are whenever your yeah. brain matter smushes against the side of your skull yes. and it bruises. Uh-huh. Well, here's the thing. If you have a strong neck, if you have a strong neck, the less head the less your head is going to give and thus the more and thus the more stable your uh, the thus the more stable the stump that your head sits on. And thus, the less your head moves, the less odds of it smushing against the side. Because the whiplash, you know, that's how a lot of people get concussions, is that, you know, they their head whiplashes. Yeah, and, and they, so the uh, the inertia, yeah. like, your head moves, but your brain doesn't. Yes. Yeah, your brain still has some inertia. Your head moves, and before the brain can go with it, it goes, boop, and then comes back. Yeah. And, so. and you see, that's like... Some people say sparring with headgear is worse because you're pretty much increasing the size of your head and the amount of the amount of uh, total inertia that you can that you can get. Now, don't get me wrong; it protects you from like getting cuts and like getting bumps and everything. But in terms of getting concussions, it's it's the worst thing. That's why a lot of UFC people now, a lot of uh, people who uh, do UFC and everything, whenever they're going like. There's one guy who's one of my favorite fighters, Donald Cerrone, the, the mm-hmm. cowboy. They call him Cowboy Cerrone. Oh yeah, yeehaw, motherfuckers! That guy. Exactly. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Him. Yes. The, uh, that that gentleman. Yes. Yeah. Well, anyway, he doesn't spar anymore. He just does drills, and now he is fighting his best that he's ever fought. Hmm. I mean, uh, actually, let me let me show you like a, a slowdown of the of one of his combos that he pulled. It's All like right. He's in the Matrix almost. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's see. There it is. Combo. Uh. Boom, boom, boom. It's like he's in oh. the Matrix. Like, perfect combo. I mean, boom, 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 boom. Just. So what you're saying is, Super Meter went off. Yeah. Yep, okay. There's actually, a, yeah, yeah, and. Yeah. It's like that, that four-hit combo that he did, still to me, is just. Like one of the most insane things I've ever seen because it's perfect. It is almost pitch perfect with its with its execution because you know there's you know there's uh, there's jab mm-hmm. to initiate and then straight to the body, hook to the head. Lit. When he goes down, head kick, pow. That's kickboxing mm. 101 perfection. I this, mean, mu- this must register on an emotional level. <laughs> Quite, yeah, that's yeah. that's what I see. Yeah. Well, he's that he's that technical of a striker. You don't hear it. You don't think it talking to the guy because he's just like, yeah, man, I just went in there and did my thing. You know, just yeah, yeah, yeehaw, motherfuckers. Kick, yeah. yeah, his head kicked him like yeehaw, motherfuckers. You know, just yeah, like, yeah, no, exactly. No. He, he, a lot of people equate him to Boomhauer, but <laughs> a bit, yes. But in all honesty, he's. I mean, honestly, he's got like a fight computer up there that's like nuts, and he just loves to fight. He just loves to like hit people. And that's one thing I love. I love watching him fight because he's just so crazy about. It. He's just so crazy good about it. But anyway, yeah, I think. I well, think... okay. So here's here's the important question. Oh, shit. So we know that Mayweather is clearly maining Dudley from Street Fighter. Yeah. So well, maybe not Dudley. Maybe. Uh... Oh, jeez. Now, there it is. Now now it's showing just how much Street Fighter I've played. Very little. Um, there's another boxer. Balrog? Balrog, thank you. Because they rotated the names. And it's oh, that's the one right. I yeah. Remember. Uh, yeah. Um, actually, yeah, probably closer to Balrog, I think. Dudley's a little bit too refined. Um, but yeah. who's, who's McGregor maining? McGregor? I see... I mean, he's not Ryu. No, he's not Ryu. He's not Ken. No. Um, I don't think he's quite Sagat either. No, he's not. No, he's not Sagat. Uh, hmm. He's not Guile because no, Con- Connor's more wild. I'd say he's more like Blanca. Yes, that's actually. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if I can see Connor McGregor doing the red hair, the, the, red hair, the, the, red hair, the red hair, and the yeah. anger, the red hair and the rage. <laughs> like I don't, I don't know that I'm seeing the the Blanca balls, but yeah, I could, I could get behind this. Okay, <laughs> all right, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> actually no, that's rampage. He's, it's more of a it's action. more of a an emotional mantle. Yeah, that's fair. Well, 
he equates himself to the Irish Muhammad Ali, which he's he's a hell of a fighter, and he's. I mean, that is a bold claim, though. Well, you think about Woo. you. Well, here's here's my thinking on it. You think about what the man has accomplished, that, and you think about you know he's from Ireland and he talks smack. I think better than any. I think he's the best smack talker in combat sports. I don't think there's anyone out there who can talk smack as good as him. I mean, you know, you've got you've got a few people, but I don't think anyone's come up with more memorable stuff. It's like as soon as I touched down in Las Vegas, he retired twice. That's a good line. I mean, just like wow, That's a really good wow. Line. Yeah, and and Connor <laughs> thinks of a lot of that stuff off the top of his head. You know, he's just he's spitting it out. At, as quick as he as quick as he thinks of it, mm-hmm. and he's good. He's really good at, and he backs it up with some of the best fighting that you'll see. I mean, knockout power and both. Like, you want to know how how scary his last fight was? How good he was? Eddie Alvarez. This guy was like world class bo- You know, world class boxer when he was younger and everything. Mm-hmm. And uh, he he transitioned into MMA after doing a uh, after uh, doing a uh, wrestling as well. Uh, well, not world class, but I, I shouldn't say world class. He, but boxing was his main forte. Yeah, and he was tough. He he'd never been finished before. Yeah, he was a good boxer. Yeah. Connor clowned with him. Connor oh, put no. his hands behind his back, dared him to punch him, like chin out. Dared him to punch him. As soon as Eddie tried to throw something, Connor comes around, left hook, right, you know, straight right, another left hook. Eddie goes down. It's like. What the hell? So what you're telling me is Connor's maining Deadpool. I wouldn't say De- that. Deadpool's level three super is just, you know, hey, hit me. Then beats the guy to death with his own life and uh, life hyper combo me. bars. That's right. Yeah, but, I think, yeah, okay. I think we figured it out. Yeah, he's maining Deadpool. He's maining Deadpool. There you go. Done. Except he doesn't use uh, very many, like, like disgusting analogies. Yeah, it's like I mean, um, he talks a big game, though. Oh, well, he does talk a big game. Yeah. It's just you're never going to hear Connor say, "Oh God, it looks like Floyd. It looks like your your face your face uh, your face face fucked a. It looks like your. It sounds like you face fucked a, a flip flop." No, <laughs> actually, I could see Connor McGregor saying that. Uh, I actually yeah. he did say that. Actually, Floyd Mayweather Senior. Floyd Mayweather. Uh, Floyd May Mayweather's dad actually mm-hmm. got into a vocal sparring match with Connor. Oh and, no! Like, you can hear across the way. You you heard like the thing about Floyd Mayweather Senior is. He can't talk very good. He's got a very high pitched voice, and he and, oh okay and he, and yep he, and he's suffered a little bit of brain damage, so he, he talks a little funny. Mm-hmm. And from across the room, all you hear is all you hear you hear Connor, you know, in his smooth Irish brogue, just going, just going, just going. Yeah, you, you see, they won't be able to take my power. They won't be, you know, the human body cannot take, cannot sustain. The human skull isn't designed to. Set. And all of a sudden, all you hear from across the room, you talk, man, you motherfucker. <laughs> And then all of a sudden, Connor just goes, "Get the get the fucking shoe out of your mouth and actually try and talk to me, man." Oh man, <laughs> that's Ooh. that's kind of harsh. Well, mm. well, I was gonna say Connor don't give a crap, dude. Man. Connor does not care. He is, I mean, honestly, he's in this, uh, and he he actually burned Floyd Senior so bad, Floyd Senior laughed at it. Oh no, you know that's what you have to do, though. <laughs> but, I mean, let's be fair. From the sound of things, Demosthenes, he ain't. No. Yeah, that was a deep cut, and I was like, mm-hmm. I have to make that joke. I have to. Yeah, have good to break cut. That good out. cut. Yeah. I got to give you it's that. A deep cut. Good cut. Good cut, though. Good yeah, cut. I, I mean, you I, know. I liked it. But uh. yeah, no, it's. Uh, <laughs> no matter what happens, that's going to be a hell of a fight. It's going to be very interesting to see what happens. Now, and I mean, I know that there's been a lot of talk about the sport of boxing potentially being on its last legs. Yeah. That's that's been going around for a while, and people said that the last great fight we would experience in boxing was Con- was uh, was May Pacquiao versus Floyd Mayweather. Yeah, I and, I remember that distinctly, and and then it passed, that, and it yeah. was seen as a, a stinker because yeah, that fight ma- was well because one Manny was injured, Manny had mm-hmm. a had a separated shoulder, so he couldn't you know he couldn't throw his punches properly. Yeah, but and, and Floyd, you know, Floyd did his thing, you know staying back and doing his like his defense is the best ever i i mean i don't think i've seen anyone with the defensive capabilities and technique of of floyd mayweather i don't think we ever will again what we might but it'll be well actually i take that back vasil lomachenko uh has probably uh has probably some of the best defense i mean his foot movement and his head movement are just nuts 
but he, he's he's he did practice a different style of defense. Floyd's is all about the sh- his is about the shoulder roll and and uh, and like the Philly shell defense, which is just like it's, oh yeah, it's a weird it's 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 like a mix between the shoulder roll and the Philly shell and the standard defense. It's very strange how he does it, and he he adapts very well. He adapts very well to to what's going on around him. But yeah, I guess <laughs> I guess that's gonna do it. I mean. Honestly, yeah, I can't wait for this. This is gonna be fun. I might live stream if you want me to live stream it. I'll see if I can like get people together to watch it, and we'll have like a big watch party. Maybe we'll do that because it'll be next month, and uh, hopefully we'll be in the new place by then. Yeah, it's if true. not, then eh, we'll just do it here. Then. I mean, and it'll either last a while or twelve seconds. Yeah. So we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. So once again, everybody. Uh-huh. Thank you all for tuning in. Uh, if you want to see the original video, once again, the link is down in the description. And uh, I guess until next time, signing off for the Renegades, I'm Nate. I'm Ben. Micah. And we will see you later, everyone. Oh, and that's and Chico. And that's Chico. And we'll see you later, everyone. Peace out. I just didn't want to, I just didn't want to disrupt him while he was sleeping. Yep. He's okay. He's good. <laughs>